I'm Webs for Evs, and I was an animator on BFB and am currently a teapot animator. This tutorial will teach you how to draw your own legs, arms, eyes, mouths, and animate them just like in teapot. Before we get started, make sure you have a good understanding of the basics of Adobe Animate. I've linked a playlist below of all my animation tutorials. You should definitely check those out first. When you start drawing for Teapot or BFB, a lot of people, including myself, use tablets, but I'm going to be using my mouse today to show you that you can use any tool to animate in the Teapot style. One thing that I do is I take an image of the character and I put it right next to the body that I'm about to use. Everybody has their own individual style, but everything should look relatively similar. I like this arm a lot, so we're gonna take that, copy it with Control C, and then paste it with control V and then we're going to transform horizontally. There we go. The most important thing I'm going to leave you with today is how to draw and animate mouths like they do in BFB and Teapot. This style was coined by Satomi, the previous BFB and Teapot showrunner. So this is the real deal. So what I'm going to do is make the sad mouth, the sad M. And I'm going to press F8 and make the symbol leafy mouth. And I'm going to make this a graphic. I'm going to insert a blank keyframe, press onion skin so I can see the last mouth I made. And then I'm going to make the open mouth. I'm going to now make the O mouth. And for the last mouth, I'm going to make the closed T mouth. And now we have all the mouths that we need. You might be wondering, well, in BFB and Teapot, those mouths are really bouncy. How do they make them bounce? Well, that's really simple. We're gonna select this, convert it to symbol, and make it a movie clip. Next, we're gonna go into this, add a bunch of frames, and on the second frame, we're gonna stretch it out. Whenever I select the M mouth, it'll always bounce. We'll do the same with all the other mouths. With the open mouth, on the first frame, it's going to be bigger and stretched out. And on the second frame, stretched wide instead of stretched down. So it'll look like this. Now we have the four mouths. Make sure that these mouths are set to play single frame because if it loops, we're just going to get this. It's really important to make sure that everything is its own symbol on its own layer. When something isn't a symbol, you can't animate it because it comes up with this error. And when two things are on the same layer, it comes up with the same error and messes up the animation. So make sure everything is a symbol and make sure everything has its own layer. And now we're going to actually get into the animation. Step one in the animation process is the keyframe. These keyframes basically determine all of the poses that the character is going to be in. So this is pose one, and we have a set of keyframes here. So I'm going to select all these frames and insert keyframe. I can also press F6 on my keyboard to insert keyframes as well. I'm going to skew these legs. I'm going to hold alt while I do it so that they move like this. If you don't hold alt on your keyboard, the legs will move like that. Next, I'm going to select the rest of the body and I'm going to turn it and I'm going to use my arrow keys to move leafy. And then I'm going to duplicate this symbol. That way I can edit it without messing up this symbol. I'm going to draw blinking eyes. The thing about the BFB style and the teapot style is that you always have to draw the new things that happen in the scene. So I'm going to duplicate this symbol. Now I want to make a new arm. So I'm going to duplicate this symbol, create this new layer. To make this easier, I can also press this button. So this arm simply becomes an outline and draw over it. I also want to make it so I can only see one of Leafy's eyes. So I'm going to bring everything over here. I'm going to select this and go to properties and click this button. This button is the swap symbol button. I'm going to swap back to symbol seven. Now we're back to the open eyes, but I'm also going to duplicate this symbol and delete this eye.
And there, now we have all of these keyframes. Oh no, it's so sad to see Ice Cube gone. Now, some people actually end their animation there. A lot of people animate with just keyframes, but if you want to go a step further, you can tween this animation. Tweening is creating the in-betweens of the animation. So we would create a classic tween. That creates all of the in-betweens of the animation. Every single individual frame in this animation is the exact same amount apart. I, however, want it to get faster as Leafy goes down. So I would select an ease in. An ease in means that the first frames are really close together. There's such a minuscule difference between this frame and this frame. As we get closer to the final keyframe, it gets faster. I'm going to do the same thing here and create a classic tween with an ease in. Let's do cubic. So that means that the frames in the beginning are even closer together and the frames at the end have an even larger difference. Next, I'm going to put a keyframe here and I'm going to create the bounce back. Because Leafy had so much movement here, she will bounce back in the animation. So we'll just do a little tiny, tiny movement here. Bring the arms back down. Bring the face back down. Create a classic tween. And do an ease out. Oh no! Here, I'm going to do an ease in out. It eases in first where the frames start getting faster. And then they slow back down. Now we have a bit of an issue here because her face goes off her body. I'm going to create a set of keyframes here and I'm going to duplicate this symbol and just shrink that eye and duplicate this symbol and shrink this eyebrow. This will make it look more like her face is going around her body instead of off of it. There we go, and now we have this animation. Oh no, it's so sad to see Ice Cube gone. And now, finally, I'm going to show you how to lip sync. Now first, I'm going to explain to you a little bit about what each mouth does and its function. This closed teeth mouth actually functions as a lot of different things. It's a T sound, an S sound, a SH sound, CH sound, anything where your teeth are closed, Additionally, it's also an F mouth. The open mouth is for any ah sound, any E sound, anything like that. Your O mouth is for any oohs, any O's, anything like that, any oohs. And your M mouth is for M's, B sounds, so B, and any P sounds like P. What you can do is you can go through every single keyframe and listen to what the sound is. So I'm going to insert a keyframe right here and I hear an ah sound, so I'm going to put this ah mouth. We're slowly turning into an O, oh, so here I'm going to put an O oh mouth. Here I can hear that the sound has stopped, so it's an N mouth, a little N. Mm. I hear the start of an ah here, so we're going to put that. There, now the animation is lip synced. Oh no, it's so sad to see Ice Cube gone. You might be wondering, hey, the mouths aren't bouncing. That's because the mouths are movie clips. See, and you actually cannot see a movie clips animation outside of its symbol. What you're going to do is go to control, test movie, in animate, and it will export your animation how it will be visible when it's an mp4 or any type of video file type. As you can see in this animation, you can now see that her mouth is bouncing, which means our animation is officially done. Oh no, it's so sad to see Ice Cube gone. In the description below, I've left a download link for the file that I actually used in this video, so you can check out the animation for yourself and understand more about how it was done. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you really, really liked it, then watch another video.